Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Drop Man. Please contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or email. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to send me fan mail, the information is in the video above. Hey everybody, welcome to the Adventures of the Oklahoma Drop Man. Uh, all set up here at the market. Uh, quite a few vendors here again this morning. Uh, got a 60% chance of rain and you can see right behind me it looks pretty dark uh, it's been sprinkling off, off and on all morning so far but we've had a busy start we're not even officially open and we've had a lot of people come through already this morning so but everybody's here getting set up and hopefully we'll have a good day Mel said good morning <laughs> But yeah, we're just getting all set up here and ready to go. So we'll talk to you later. God bless. Hey everybody, we got a storm moving in here. A lot of lightning and thunder. We haven't had any rain yet, but lots of lightning and thunder. Yeah. Hopefully it'll just be rain and not any hail or wind. But yeah, the rain is here now. So. So far it's just rain, nothing else. Lightning and thunder. But we still got a pretty good crowd turnout so far, so. But yeah, the lightning is pretty sharp, so. It is raining like crazy. Yeah, it is coming down. I guess I won't have to worry about water in the garden. <laughs> so far it's just rain though, no wind or no hail. But it is coming down. So we got a good turnout for the farmer's market. I sold quite a bit already this morning. Uh, it, yeah, it is flat raining out right now. So we'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, this is Tristan here. I just did a little time lapse video of me heading to the farmer's market to visit with Keith. God bless. Hey everybody, today we're going to do a little video using some of the stuff out of my bug out bag. First, I want to use my machete here a minute, and also I'm going to compare this saw that I got at the uh, flea market. It was in a bag of stuff that I wanted an auction, actually. I got a whole box of stuff for $3. So I'm going to compare that, this saw, to the one that I got for my brother at the gun shop for my birthday. This one's brand new. This one is used, and I got a, a branch that it's not very big, but it uh, actually fell out of my tree here. So we're gonna do a little comparison with the saws first, and uh, we're gonna use the the used one first and see how it does. Uh, We'll go around the back side here. First we'll cut this little branch off. Uh, 
this is pretty dead so it should cut fairly easy but now I'll cut the and I plan on using this for firewood so we'll try it with the you saw first and see how how it cuts Too bad. It, uh, it's a little work, but if you needed it, it would work. Okay, now we'll try the the new one. It's never been out of the package yet. This is a HME is the brand name. Uh, it's nice because it's, it's actually a little smaller, so it fits in the bug out bag a little easier. But uh, we'll give it a try here and see what it does. cutting all right but it seems a little stickier than the other one but it's the wood's kind of wet so that don't really help much but overall ease I think the big one works a little better it's actually got a little thinner blade So, in comparison, I like this one because it's compact, uh, but ease of use, this one works better. They're both going to be in the bug out bag, so yeah, I'll have both available. And next I want to tie out my machete. I've never, never used this yet. It's not an expensive one. I think I give uh, like $13 for it at Walmart. Nothing too crazy. But I want to see if it'll cut some of these suckers off my tree that are growing. Yeah, it's not too bad, I guess. Not the sharpest one in the world, but I guess it would do in a pinch. Yeah, I'm not real impressed with it, but uh, I think a tree pruner would. But in all defense, these are green, green little suckers. So, and anybody that knows that if you ever have uh, try chopping green wood it's tough but it seems to work all right if you go at an angle I guess I guess once you get the hack of it it's not too bad. But yeah, I mean for 10 bucks, that's not really too bad. But got a few of them down anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little comparison here. Hope you guys like this video. I want to do more of this stuff. 
and uh, I want to start using more of my bug out bag and actually I think I'm going to work on this edge. It's not really very sharp so I can uh, get my sharpener out and my stone and, and work on that edge and that would probably help a lot but in a pinch it would do. Thanks for watching. God bless you guys. We'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, we're going to head to the post office and check the P.O. box. And then we're going to come back home and uh, we're going to grill some pork chops on the barbecue. We was going to do it on an open fire, but the wind is really picked up and uh, it's a little later than we expected to get started. So we're just going to do it on the grill. And we'll uh, cook dinner and get that done for you guys and then we'll get the video uploaded. So God bless you guys and we'll talk to you later. Oh, here's the post office. Flag standing out. It's nice when it's not as hot out. Gonna be something today? Maybe. Yep. There, there is. Wow, they packed that tight. Yes, they did. That was it. Okay, uh, this is from Amazon Prime. Hopefully, there'll be a card inside. Oh, nice. These are the big uh, cupcake holders for my big muffin pan. No card, no tag, so it's from an anonymous. Uh, thank you, anonymous. I don't see a name on here anyway. Maybe I'll put my glasses on and I'll be able to see. Now it came out of Oklahoma City. Jeff Barra Bakeware, Oklahoma City, but no name. So, ever who sent them, thank you very much. Uh, I'll mention it again in the live. Uh, but I definitely appreciate this. This. I was thinking about making some blueberry muffins this week, but all I have is the small cupcake paper. So yeah, this is gonna be cool. This is just a picture of my friend in Missouri, Mary's car. I did this decal for her for the back of her car. Uh, she's a big Kansas City Chiefs fan. So Mary, I hope you like it. I'm glad you got it put on with no problems. But yeah, this is just something that I made for her. Okay, we're going to put some uh, pork chops on the, the grill. Thanks, Wes and Cindy. Uh, my brother, Wes and Cindy, give, give us these pork chops when we was out there in Missouri. It's 
so we're going to grill them up here. They're not very thick ones, so they're not going to take long to cook. I got the heat on low, so. And I got some corn soaking in some water here. And I'm going to throw on the grill too. And pull off some of this loose stuff here. Just let that start cooking and then in a few minutes we'll flip them pork chops over and roll the corn around a little bit and yeah we're just gonna do a quick pork chop dinner with some sweet corn on the cob and I'll set that there I'll have a melted bowl okay we're gonna flip these pork chops they're not going to take long here to cook because they're so thin. But they're smelling really good and they're really not even seasoned. Uh, but yeah, the few more minutes and I'll be ready to go here and the corn won't take too much longer. It'll be ready. So we'll catch up with you when we get done here. Okay, we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on the pork chops here. This is uh, my spicy one. Give them a good glaze of barbecue sauce. Then we'll flip them back over and do the other side after this caramelizes on there a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get our plates made up here. We'll leave Tristan that one. He thought it looked really good, so. Uh. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. Almost a blooper. But I'm gonna get the corn opened up here. And we cheated with the potatoes. We just got a microwave uh, cheesy scalp potatoes. Because we really didn't have time to do fresh potatoes. But yeah, there's my meal. And we'll let Tristan get his dished up. And We'll sit down and enjoy our dinner. Okay, we're going to sit down here and enjoy our dinner. Try out these scalp potatoes first. Actually, for out of a container, they're pretty good.
Now we'll try the pork chop. They're thin pork chops. I might have overcooked them a little bit, but either that or this knife is not very sharp, <laughs> which could be. This pork chop's giving me trouble, Tristan. Mmm. <laughs> the barbecue sauce sets it off. Mm. Very good. I love it. But yeah, we're going to sit here and enjoy our dinner. And we'll catch up with you guys later. Hey everybody, we just finished our dinner. Excellent pork chops. It was an excellent meal all the way around. I enjoyed it. Uh, I think Tristan liked it. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to finish up my video here quick and get it uploaded and get ready for church tomorrow. And we'll talk to you guys later. Hey, everybody. Hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. Uh, I had a great Saturday. We got some really nice rain today uh, you guys seen that in the video a lot of lightning and thunder while we were at the farmers market uh, I had an excellent day at the farmers market again uh, I sold all my pies I had five pies uh, I sold all the bread except for one loaf of banana bread and I got a rhubarb cake that didn't sell sold all of my uh, produce again so, sold quite a bit of uh, jams and jellies. So, yeah, I had another excellent market. Uh, the weather was just gorgeous today. Uh, the whole time we were at the market, I don't think it got above 80 degrees. Uh, most of the time it was in the 70s, so that was pleasant. Uh, but anyway, we're going to end the video here and get it uploaded. So I just hope that the Lord blessed you with a, a wonderful Saturday like he did me. Uh, I'm just blessed by all of you guys that support my channel. Uh, <laughs> the subscribers are, it's just kind of up and down. I, I've been down as low as 1790 and, and now I'm back up to 1798. So you just never know. Uh, but I appreciate every one of you guys. Uh, you guys can do me a favor and like and share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave comments. The comments help me tremendously and I enjoy them. I, I love communicating with you guys. Uh, you seen in the video, I got a, another package in the uh, post office box today. Don't know who sent it. It was anonymous. It came out of Oklahoma City. Uh, from a, a factory that makes baked goods and or, uh, items to, to use for like a bakery items. So I don't know if somebody ordered it from them or if they seen it in my video and sent it to me, but it's from uh, Gil, Gilberg Bakeware in Oklahoma City. So. Everyone who sent it, thank you. They're going to come in handy. Uh, they're, you guys seen it in the video, but they're just uh, the cupcake liners for my big uh, muffin pan. They're the, the big liners. So, yeah, definitely appreciate that. Uh, so, thank you. Thank you so much, everyone who sent it. But there was no card inside or anything. But I just appreciate all you guys. You guys have all uh, supported me so much, uh, even with the, the super thanks. And the, uh, I've received several of them, and that's just a blessing that I would never, never take for granted. So anyway, I've been babbling on here again. Uh, I love you guys. Remember, like I always say, Treat everybody the way you want to be treated. 
make this world a better place. God bless you guys. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed evening.